Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Forum, host Mr. Lev Trotsky Lover, or Mr. ISP Lover, but regardless, he is a Triumph Revolutionary, or Triumphant Revolutionary, which we are doing some heavy, heavy industry currently, which I might have read this one yesterday, so if you want to do this one again, please go right ahead. Um, I can't remember what we did yesterday as well, or at least in the last video, but right now, we can do infrastructure effort. The Union of Soviet so no, Soviet republics of Europe and Asia is vast but mostly empty. We must ensure that the ability to transfer goods and equipment across the width of the country quickly, which I think I might have read that one yesterday as well, but oh well. Which right now we have a lot of people who want to help us out with air gain. The Axis, as we can see here, is doing... Well, they're doing okay, but they're fighting the Italians. Okay. Of course, we have the allies here. The Japan Japanese are doing the Japanese stuff. Allies are allying. Even with that. Hmm. Finland's already in the access. Okay. And we're down here in Spain just trying to help out and kill off the commune, which <clears throat> might not be great. But we can call in Communist China to join our faction, but I'm not really feeling the Communist Chinese. There's not too much. Right now, we're still building up probably some sh old battleships? Old destroyers? What was it? Kirov? Early cruisers. Okay. Interesting. Well, we've got some comms to go through as well and some decisions that we have made that will be uh, very beneficial for us. So... Um, if anything, I would like you to help me support the attack here. Yes, that would be quite bueno, as we are trying to attack, 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 and try to get these guys to win as fast as possible. Ooh, is an organizer. That's actually really nice. Madrid would be nice to get, even though this would also be better to get for us right here, right now. Yeah, this is, we're spreading out these guys' divisions just maybe a wee bit too much. Heavy industry would be very nice. So infrastructure effort, though. Thank you very much. Uh, we get 1.12 political power every single day, which really isn't that much, which does kind of suck. Oh, well. <clears throat> Anything else for more? Oh, Soviet Economist. That's not bad. I like that guy. Leveling trade unions. I don't want her to pee pee. Uh, political power. That's not much. 5% is not much. Has completed cooperation against Stalin. Uh, that seems like a guy we should probably get anyway, so. Screw it. We're going to grab him anyways. We're going to get that much pee more PP, but whatever. It is, of course, 1939. Everybody, let's grab some of that because we can. And we're doing well, really well here. Go over there and then go over there. And you're still trying to get Madrid, in which you did, and you made an encirclement. Not bad. But after infrastructure effort, finish the five-year plan. The second five-year plan uh, prioritizes the development of heavy industry. The Soviet Union must quick develop quickly in order to match the capitalist and fascist powers of the West. Not a bad idea. As we're putting up roads, but it is 39. We should probably make some more uh, millies at the very least. There you go. Make at least one. Okay, I lied. Make at least two. But make sure you're working on that one, too. Because that one's pretty close to getting done as well. So thank you very much. And the Spanish El Volunteros. Thank you for playing, Spaniards. Spanish? Spanish. Server size was Britain. Well, that's okay. And the Polish Republic has... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a really weird uh, group there. Liberian Protector Proclaimed. Wait, how did po Poland declare, declare overlordship of, of... Wait, what? Of Liberia? Uh, I've never seen that one happen before. Wait, you went Democratic. Doesn't strike. Do you do you get Liberia? Press for. Is this a, what? How? Why? Wait, what? How do you get like? Huh? I don't understand, man. Uh, but anyways, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go with national specialists versus foreign experts. And overall, there's support for both sides, but there's a little bit more support for national ex or national experts, national specialists. Our economic development must primarily be driven by people familiar with the state it is in. Foreigners would take a long time to gain that knowledge, and perhaps even worse, they would take it with them when they leave. So that is the route we're going to go. Thank you for everyone who voted for that. I've got a couple of things we had to talk about as well. Um, how are we doing down here? Doing A-OK. -okay. Not great, but not too bad either. I just let these guys go. I mean, just let them have a good old time. Recovery rate, organizer. Uh, Tukachevsky's over here, of course, as well. Doing, doing and having a great, 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 great time. Totally great. Yeah, don't don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Ooh. It'd probably be best if we honestly concentrate our forces first. So come back down here and destroy these guys so we don't get circled and let them live. That would probably be a smart thing. Oh, that one too. There you go. How about take out that group first? Ah, more divisions. Great. Glorious. Very nice. Carrier holes. Uh, can you get any better carrier holes? Yes. No. Okay, then. 
Uh, Destroyer 2s, there, that's pretty papery. We're already pretty papery with, uh, what we're using currently, so. Don't really know if we really want to use that one. Yeah, the Axis is doing pretty darn well without Italy. They replaced Italy with France, which, I don't know if that's a really good thing, but. Turkey, and, uh, oh, well, a lot of people, oh my gosh. Why does Greece always do that? I mean, it's nice for the Greeks, but still, why do they always do that now? Uh, oh, and here comes the Axis Allies War. Hmm, border here. Oh, okay, they're doing there too. Uh, Poland defeats the German ultimatum. I can invite Maximus jo uh, Georgia, uh, Portugal. All right, interesting. But now that's an open barrier down into Africa. Oh boy, oh boy. We'll see what happens though. So you guys did great. Uh, we still need to push though. Where do we want to push? I kind of want to push into here, but we are using Mountaineers, so I'm not afraid to go down here as well. Thank you very much, and you know, don't go right in immediately. What is this? Comments, John wants an honor pack. We're okay with that. Sure, why not? I keep looking here for like anyone else we can use, but no, there's no one there. Mass assault. I mean, someone wants me to go mass assault as well, but I've already gone down the path towards uh, not mass assault, <laughs> like grand battle plan. And it's only level one, but like, I know it'd make more sense with Tukhachevsky. We would use mass assault. It does make so much more sense if you know about it historically, but I think for now, I think we're, we're kind of okay. Iron Lazar. So we're not going to go down that route. I apologize for that. Construction speed would be nice. Construction speed. Honestly, I prefer construction speed now, but go Yvonne. Better radars. Nice. And guns. Yes. Go on in, guys. See what you can do. Spurs industry. Nice. Awesome. 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 Uh, do we have... Oh. Better change. Yeah. Keep it up right here. A lot of pressure on these guys here. Lots and lots and lots of attacking. Polish Republic is looking okay-ish. Iron Wolf Lithuania joined the Axis. They went to war. Oh, wants to join our faction. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not feeling the Japanese right now. You know, that'd be a lot of fun. Not really feeling Japanesey. Um, we didn't get even the Molotov ribbon drop back, which does kind of suck. Eastern development. So I'm racing towards this research slot. So Eastern development. Uh, develop your roles first. The biggest threat against our nation will probably come from a nation in Europe. By developing the areas beyond the Euro Mountains, we will create a reserve industry. Industrial capacity, I should say. That even the longest range bombers will find difficult to reach. Yeah, we're definitely doing okay here. We can go all the way in. That'd be really nice, you mountaineers. Um, throw in some recon, maybe? We don't have enough support equipment. Gosh darn it. Do we have any anti air? No, we don't. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, the ghost punish coming. Nice job, guys. All we had to do is push all the literal way to Barcelona. Even though these guys aren't, won't really be our allies, but whatever. Eastern development, develop the Urals, and then Eastern development. The areas of the Far East beyond uh, the Ural Mountains offer vast untapped resources in wide areas for industrial development. We must ensure that they are prepared to power bigger projects. Third five plan, huh? It hurts our consumer goods again? Hmm. Proving the railway network would be very nice as well. Oh, go, just go on in, guys. You'll be fine. You'll be more than fine. This guy, Philip Golikov, has done a very nice job. Uh, well, you, you might want to go in there first. You yeah, might want to go in there, too. You just might. You never know. Actually, yeah, you do. You really do know. Um, air Warfare Theorist. Victory through air power sounds like fun, but... Nah, Cass. Which are we going for? Uh, we don't know. Are we making bombers? Looks like tactical bombers. Establishing the Greater Greece. That sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. I should play as Greater Greece, Greater Greece sometime, too. Cool. Thank you. Nice. Not bad. La Coruña is next. And we'll have the Civil War done. And maybe we'll help this pulls out. We'll see. Uh, the Axis could be doing better. Um... Price of victory. Due to the heavy nature of our involvement in the Spanish Civil War, our influence over the Spanish government has expanded to the point where they are effectively a satellite state to Moscow. Okay, then. Welcome aboard, my very democratic allies. Very nice. Develop the Urals. Eastern Development. Oh, yes, please. And uh, the USSR Academy of Sciences. To remain competitive in the fields of applied science, as we must also be on the forefront of theoretical sciences. We already have a well-established Academy of Sciences, but with some additional funding, it would provide us with a truly world-class research infrastructure. Yes, it would. Oh, look at that. We're building more roads, which, don't get me wrong, I love the roads. It helps us build up so much, so quickly. Um, but we need more factories. Good job, guys. Really, really good job. Nice job. Anyone here we care about? New. No. Alright, we have 12 tank divisions, which are probably okay. These guys are probably not that great. And then you guys doing whatever you want to do. 
Uh, China is not really worth sending stuff to. Actually, Communist China might be worth sending stuff to. Oh, but we can't. Hmm. Polish Republic, German Empire. I don't want to help the Germans out because we do have to fight them, but hmm. I don't want to fight the Allies because the United States will probably join the Allies eventually with FDR, and I'd rather see the, the Allies lose. I'd rather fight the Germans. I would rather fight a Mega Germany than Mega Allies. So, you know what? Can we send you volunteers? Oh, never mind. Okay, then. Well, we'll see what you can do. Okay, then. Not bad. Maybe get some air XP as well. You know, that's always beneficial, right? Well. Here. This is something I've never done before. Go bomb them. Yeah. We need... We need... We need a lot more mill millies. Um, there you go. We're only on war accounting, but still not enough. Um, actually, the Air Force... I'm not really sure. Weather penalty. We're always going to have weather penalties. So, ground, air superiority is always good to grab. Because that, that'll help out later on, too. So We actually lost a plane. Okay, that's great. That's great. Huh. Industrial concerns. Supply consumption. Honestly, better because super goods right now would probably be better. So, let's do Stalin... Okay, now, we're not going to do Stalingrad Tractor Factory. Because, first of all, it's not called Stalingrad anymore. Excuse me. Excuse me. Someone didn't get the memo. It's called Trotsky Grad. So, obviously, we can't go that way. I apologize that we can't go that way. But the game didn't update, so... I'm not sure what to say about it. Except that I'm I'm, I'm hurt. I'm very hurt. That they dare would call it, still... Stalingrad. Why? National Academy of Sciences. As long as we build academies of sciences and allied puppets are integrated Soviet republics. Increasing the research speed bonus provided by the National Spirit USSR Academy of Sciences. Which would not be bad. That could be really good for... Uh, Eating up a, or getting a lot of research speed very quickly. Same for the mobilization plan. Uh, global class struggle. Stir the proletariat decisions to destabilize European neighbors and justify war against them. That sounds like a lot of fun. But I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do Belgium or other Red Army versus reigniting the revolutionary spirit. So, and before I say which one won, please remind me whenever we play as Trotsky again, because I promise I will play as Trotsky again on, on this channel. But when we do it in vanilla. Please remind me in the future to go the other way. Compared to the way we're doing now. So, like, if I'm choosing one way, please let me know in the future to do the other way. So, overall, they're right now. Oh, hello. French communist take power. Let, at the time of recording, there is quite a bit more support between those two for... Not Warsaw, but the builder of the Red Army. Whatever it may have become in the meantime, the Red Army will always be the brainchild of Lev Trotsky. It's time for him to return to this former position and lead a brand new and reinvigorated Red Army to battle. Now that sounds like fun. That's fine. We like a lot of armor here. There they go. Okay, now we can send some volunteers. Oh, that was looking really bad. But, oh, we can't send volunteers. That's right. Urgh. We'll do that one in a little bit. Honestly, I mean, there was a comment saying that I should do Reconcile Japan just because that probably honestly does not get chosen very, 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 very often at all. So, I don't think that would really work for us for this campaign. Maybe eventually, but right now, probably not. Sorry, Kami Chan. Actually, that wouldn't be bad to take them out right now, but I don't want to fight them. Especially with these guys on the border. Oh, no wonder you're in the Axis. Yeah. Oh, you guys actually made it here, huh? Well, you guys are probably all going to die. God dang it. Uh, is there a return division? Can I recall them? Well, god dang it. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, hopefully they don't die. And, uh... Warsaw falls very quickly. That's going to be my hope. God dang it. Hmm. We move fast with the threat from the line of the rising sun. It's clear that Japan wishes to dominate China once they've accomplished this. They will no doubt turn north to take the vast resources in Siberia. As long as they're busy in China, they will prefer not to move against us, and so we should ensure that the war in China lasts until we're ready to contest the Japanese. Oh, well, they're going to join the Axis, probably. Oh, Warsaw has fallen. Where's the capital? Oh, crap, it is Gdansk. Hello, who is this? Bro, why are you attacking us? Well, it looks like the war against the Axis is coming a lot sooner than I thought. So, you guys, do the best you can up here. These horse boys. Are you seriously only... Um, that's not gonna cut it, honestly. 
I don't want to spend army XP to make them bigger and better. You guys are 12 combat with. You're 8 combat. How many trucks do we have? Would it be possible to convert you guys all to trucks? No, but I can convert half of them. That's an immediate improvement. Um, and how much arty do we have? Do we have enough? No. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. And then, what other border do we share with the Axis? Anything back here against Japan? No. Down here, yes. Over here, yes. Of course, the Allies are still down here, so we actually only have to guard up here, but then they're going to start spilling down here, too. Oh, this is not good. Oh, we're not ready for a war like this. Well. Crap. Just don't die. Oh, and the UK is going to join the Axis too, probably. Of course, we do have Spain in the, uh, in the 4th International as well, so that's not too bad. Uh, I almost have tried anyways, but still. Of course, 1939. Grab some of that. Go and grab some of this as well. That'd be nice. If that's the case, just in case. Because Poland's going to fall, to be real. They will fall. Can you take all this and just... Or we'll go to war with us first, or something. SVTs? Ah. That'd be nice. Alright, so for you guys over here, make sure that you have, uh... That. There. You're going to have a promotion. Uh, go defensive for now. Yeah, supplies gonna be real bad up here. Yeah, and there goes the push bug, which means we should get our divisions back, right? Yay, we do! Woo! Luxembourg joined the Allies, that's good. Oh, God. Oh, no, they didn't join. Okay. Yeah, wait, so you're in the. A why? Why did they become communists and then still join the Axis? It's very weird. Oh, did he... Wait, why is your in red? They're fighting the allies, but they're not fighting us. Oh, because we sent volunteers. That's right. There you go. Hmm. Not ideal. Well, you guys are back. Thank you for fighting down there. Um, we could probably go and die here, too. If anything, I would want you guys to move quickly through this part of uh, Finland so we can send more soldiers down south. And they were just straight up annexed. Holy crap. Oh! Unification of Iberia? Iberian Socialist Union? What? They got rid of- Wah! Wah! Yeah! You left the faction? Oh, hello. Is there a D-Day here? Maybe, yeah. Now, they can do go to war with us. That would put a lot of pressure on them to do well. Which is not bad, but still. And then two more divisions. Um, honestly... You guys are fine. We need some more, uh, garrison divisions. You guys will be fine up here as well. Come over here, too. I want to do the two red flags, but... Policy of collective security versus individual security. Ooh. Anti-capitalist policies. We'll talk about that a little bit. Addressing internal affairs is not bad to do, either. Builders of the Red Army. Global class struggle. Uh, let's do show you the mobilization plan first, just so, so we can get two desperate measures as fast as possible. Our biggest military advantages, or advantage, has always been the vastness of our country and the amount of people living in it. When it comes to getting soldiers to the front, these two things can work against each other. We have to continuously improve and update our mobilization plans to ensure that in the event of war, we can concentrate our forces very quickly. Pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm going to send guys down here just because we're probably going to honestly need them. I, I don't know how well soldiers down here can really hold out. So, and I'm hoping, um, actually, you're not going to do that. You guys are fine. Okay, you could just be the garrison divisions. Yeah, I'll probably just make these guys garrisons. How much do we need for a land auction? 120, holy crap. This size military is really bad for us. The Mexican Republic. The Mexican Republic. There's only one Mexican Republic, huh? Workers' government. Oh, yeah, I'll keep building. Keep build, 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 build. Go with three at all times now. Uh, you can fish that one off first. There you go. 
my gosh, do we need a lot of arty. And a lot of light tanks. And a lot of planes. And a lot of bombers. And a lot of everything. There goes the Chinese Empire. Oh, it must be in Chi Communist China. Uh, artillery, we have no anti-air. Okay, then. That's a big mistake. Anti-tank? Do we have any anti-tank? No. Alright, so we have that just in case. Cohesion first versus this one. Of course, our See, that's not a bad boat. Probably doesn't really fit us. We'll do this one next. Soviet Economist. I like that one a lot. The left opposition, return democracy to the party. Uh, you can always get uh, Iron Lazar, so I will probably go with this guy. Oh, and where would you join the Allies? Consumer goods. Honestly, you could probably use that now. And third, five year plan disrupted. Um, with the current attack on the motherland, it's clear that our previous plans for economic growth are no longer feasible. We, we, we may return to them once pieces are better restored, but for now we must focus on military production. Well, god dang it. This sucks. If that's the case, you guys go and make yourselves thicker. Um, I'm going to put a motorized artillery because that'll s spare a little bit from the truck reserve, which we don't have very much of. Uh, go and do that. Just start just decking them out with everything they have. Even if we don't have everything right now, it's still a okay with us. Same thing with these guys. Uh, honestly, are we using them for garrisons before I change anything up here? Yes, we are, which is good to note. So that's d garrisons. Um, horses. There you go, horses. We'll convert our other division to this template as well. At least get 20 combo with, because we're going to have more than enough arm XP soon enough, probably. Uh, Turn your combo with. Uh, sport already. Go with that as well. Go with normal recon, probably. That's fine. That's a lot. That's very expensive to make. Yeah. There you go. Just go in. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. This is not good. Sure, guys. It's fine. And I would love the railway guns, but we don't have the millies for them right now. So that's okay. And we'll come over here and grab some more defense. Because God knows we need it. Oh my gosh. Did you seriously just call in the Axis Indians? Jesus Christ. So the goal is to capitulate Finland. Capitulate whoever beats the Norwegians up as fast as possible. Um, it's not bad. Just make sure you move. Well, I didn't plan on being in war this early. In 1940. Oh, watch out. We gotta watch out for El Salvador now. Better watch out. Actually, can we just do this too? Just one solid massive... No. Yeah, sort of. Actually, can we actually push in? We might actually be able to push in, maybe. Are the millies coming? Uh, make more. 40% is not good enough. There you go. 40... That's fine. Who can we invite into our faction? Oh! Um, as much as I'd love to fight the allies at the same time, uh, AI... Oh, we can get... Yeah, we can invite you guys. I'm fine with that. Oh, the popular blo front block. I ain't playing spinning. It's been a very long time since I've played this. Oh, you what? You're gonna create your own faction. Why would you do that now, of all things? Please cancel it. It's not gonna be can canceled. Well, we're gonna lose them anyways. Can we call them in the war at least? Nope. Oh, they're pushing in through here too. God dang it. You guys actually push into here? Yeah? You might be able to, maybe. It'd be a lot of red, though. Um, I'm going to need you guys to come down here, maybe. Some of them are forced defensing. If we could capitulate the Lithuanians, that'd be awesome. But overall, we're suffering quite a few casualties, so... I mean, it's being very costly for them, but that army XP is so nice. Of course, then again, these guys doing what they're doing. How much of this area do we actually need to win? Because uh, Tallinn is their actual capital, I did forget. So that's not bad either. Alright, so now we're pretty much losing all across this entire front. Alright, so that was definitely an attack. We lost 100,000 already. Holy crap. Most against Iron Wolf Lithuania, though. Of course, then again, they were forced defensing. Yeah, we suck. Oh, I mean, it doesn't help that we have uh, some of these national spirits. Plus, that's military is really bad. 
which doesn't hurt us for combat. Um, where is it? Soviet Air Force is really bad. Red Army is really bad as well. Oof. No, 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 you guys hold, you guys hold, you're fine. Sure, guys, yeah. yeah you hold, just go here. And, you, and just, just go to Tallinn. You'll be fine. Well, I definitely pushed in. I'm not sure if I really recommend pushing it like this at all. Build of the Red Army, not bad. And depoliticize the military. Oh, yeah. Remove politicized military. Yeah, that would be nice. That would actually be very good. System decentralization. Lose political power. Strengthen the heavy industry. That's not bad either. Uh, desperate measures, though. In this desperate situation, we must take measures that we had previously thought impossible. Anything else can be done to stem invasion must be done. Pretty much. Supplies are really bad, in which we need to get some supply companies. Absolutely. There we go. That should be enough to capitulate them, right? Yeah, I was right. Great job, guys. Who are you fighting? Lapi? Lapel? So you guys are done, which is great to see. And they might be touching us a little bit here and there, but you know, whatever. Oh, we're out of manpower. Oh, boy. Limited conscription, then. I like that we can just go over there as fast as we possibly need to. Uh, supply base? The only one up there would not be bad. Mm -hmm. Excavation? Not bad. And of course, 1940. Go and grab some more soft attack for us. If they touch us a little bit, that's okay with us, too. Um, yeah, supply's pretty bad around here. But if we can finish these guys off, that'd be great. So you guys did awesome. Unfortunately, you guys are going to have a little bit, uh, much more difficult time to garrison actually everything over here, which is really bad. Yeah. And we're out of manpower, of course. Oh, never mind. Hey, they want to attack us? I'm okay with that. More divisions? Nice. Alright, so at this point, I'm going to take, uh, actually take all the infantry out. Because you guys could probably do this by yourself. Right here. Just, just kind of hanging out, have a good old time. Use both forces at the same time. You, you, that'll be fine. Uh, oh, Trotsky's here. Nice. <sighs> we need a new commander. I don't want to spend all that command power for that, though. That's fine, because we'll send the tanks around and move them around a little bit. Uh, you go right there as well for now. Oh, are they attacking us more on the line? Mm, somewhat. Latvia? Can we demand their subjugation? Uh, sure. Oh, they did the... Yeah, they made their own faction. Why? Communists, can't you just unite together? Who the heck is speaking right now? Stop. Shut up. After desperate measures, Pima Battalions, we gotta wait for lessons of war. Um, adaptable army. Honestly, let's go cohesion first. We need that organization. It's not much, but I'll take it. The last thing we need in this situation is to reduce our standards. Anyone who wants to serve in the military is welcome, but they will serve in existing units and train to proper military standards. Germany. Nice. There you go. And then we'll go with the rehabilitated military. It's very clear now that the close watch we have kept on the military was perhaps a little overzealous. Well, perfectly justified in the peacetime, during the war we should have let the professionals make judgments based on the military situation, not based on political considerations. It is time to remain in the political officers a bit and give the commanders more latitude in how to run things, for even more organization, recovery, and reinforce rate. Stuff we could all very, 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 very much use. Oh yeah, you guys. Ooh, I was... I did notice, like, I was on the right, and I was looking at, um... Just looking at ready. Oh, actually, are you guys still training? How did you not die yet? But, like, one thing you might want to try out, or maybe I want to try out, is attach some helicopters, helicopters, not helicopters, planes, transport planes, to uh, armies. Just literally just attach them to armies and see if they can do any well, do well at all. Uh, how are you guys doing here? Go combine arms, yes, that'd be good. You guys, how are you doing over here? Because Magma might not be bad to get as well. Recovery would be pretty good. We're doing overall not too bad up here. Could be better. It could be a lot worse. Surprised they're not attacking. Ooh. Are you in the Japanese here? If they go to war with us, that'd be really bad. So we don't want to go. And actually, if that's the case, you guys can come over, drop off the line, and set yourself up near Leningrad, maybe. Because you never know if anyone wants to really attack us. Ooh, yay! I apologize for not going to mass assault, but it is what it is for now. Um, airborne assault specialist. I'll probably go with CAS. Air superiority would be pretty good too. Air combat training. That'd be good as well. Back to cohesion first. Rehabilitated military is the way to go. 
Oh, and Mexico is killing itself. Nice. Second Mexican Revolution? Yes, we've had one. How about another? Wow, we are sucking so hard probably because of air superiority. Or they're the lack of. That Civil War really hurt us bad. There we go. Collision first. Nice. nice. Keep making those millies. Oh my god, do we need them. We got a lot more guns too. Alright, not bad, not bad. I like that. Get some of this too. And we will need to make some things eventually too. Oh, are you actually not losing now? How? How do they have so much supply? Seriously. Oh, we're trying to build out there, which is nice, but still. How do they not have supply issues here? Yeah, you're not allowed to lose. Alright, so we enjoy the allies, that's fine, I don't really care. Actually, that could be really bad as long as the allies can hold, I mean, that'd be okay. Ooh, they actually invaded, look at that. That's kind of nice. Um, will they join the Axis if we... Of course, then again, that does increase the, the amount of line we have to cover. So I don't want to increase the line anymore, so that's probably not smart to Oh, we have a carrier, look at that! Did they get rid of our supply point? Oh my god, they probably did. Uh, go down here then. Sandy Slough. Yeah, we need logistics companies immediately. Oh, now they're attacking. Oh, we got. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We actually lost this tile. No, go in. This is a massive. 28 divisions have been in a circle here. You cannot abandon them right now. Come on, we gotta rescue these guys. Because if not, they're all dead. They're literally all dead, so that's my fault. Uh, well, my bad. That's so many divisions gone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Soviet Union is just not ready for any sort of conflict. Uh, did we give them a tank by accident? I did. Yeah. We'll still be fine. We are still gonna be fine, but... My god. Hold the front line. Hold, 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 hold. We lost so many guys to them. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. Oh wow, this is pretty ridiculous too. Holy crud. I'm gonna do that too, because you can. Not even attacking over there. That's so stupid. Oh my goodness. Oh, getting raised. Oh, civilian labor defense. What about the civilian population in the Minsk area to work on building fortifications to defend their city? Huh. Division defense of core days. When aborted? I try that, why not? Race factor worker militias groups. Let's see what it's like. Uh, what that's like. I've never done that one before. Uh, we're okay with war propaganda for now. Honestly, this would be really good to do as well. Do we need more aluminum? Do we need, we need more rubber? But we always need more rubber. Oh, I actually sent something there. Nice. Better radars? Nice. 1940. Oh, we're not even... Oh, my gosh. Those are so old. We didn't even get those guys done yet? Jesus. Uh, I'm so behind on stuff. I apologize. Yeah, we honestly probably won't be able to take these guys out either, will we? Can we? Pretty nice. That'd be pretty cool if we could. Supply issues. Just so many supply issues. I'm surprised they're not attacking anymore. But then again, um... Well... I guess we could have seen that one coming. Get ready to fan some more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, air stuff. Um, I think I did say I want to go tactical bombers, so let's go with a tactical bomber route for this one. So we actually need to do tactical bomber stuff, so. Uh, go with Ambusher too. Sure, guys, we can do that one finally. Uh, Peter Battalion's an adaptable army, would not be bad. Military organization. Oh, that's going to really hurt us. Oh, for 70 days. That's really bad, but we'll do it anyways. Our attempts to build a large mechanized army were noble, but more than we could afford. To win this war, we'll have to focus on the arms that have carried Russian armies of victory for centuries, the infantry and artillery. This will necessarily require us to disrupt the existing formations to a degree. I love what we're doing down there, though. It's very nice. 
Oh, Grid of Lithuania, huh? Italy's still not dead. Italy is still not dead. I'm very surprised. How are they not suffering attrition here? And yet we do. I'm sorry, that's just BS. Uh, honestly, at this point, you might as well just join us. We're stronger together, probably. For now, until we kick you out. But still. Uh, that's a case. We're going to weaken our line just a wee bit. And go wee all the way over there. But that does mean we can keep, send you guys and keep you guys here, too. So, And we want to keep them here as much as possible. A lot of things here. Mm, honestly, wait. Some of you guys wanted to upgrade, right? Go infantry specialist. Yeah, there he is. Nice. Wait, why can't we get him? Why can't we get him? Well, I think we have the PP for it, right? Go ambusher. That'd be good. Yeah, this is doing quite well down here. I like it. I wish they were pushing through here, but whatever. Why are they pushing up through here? I don't understand. Lappy? No, you're not. You're literally not allowed to lose. Can kill a second. Abdicates. We need more anti-air. We just need anti-air. Period. Throw it on you guys first because you need it immediately. And throw on the horses as well. My God, making this up just takes so flipping long. All right, let's get the logistics, because we need them. God dang it. Did we lose it? Okay, we haven't lost it. Okay, we were close. Not quite, though. My God, do we need more stuff. Just period. Make sure Whoopsie. Whoops, it might, it might have been a bit too much. But oh well. Sure, guys. It's not this. Anyone have any upgrades yet? No. Supplies becoming a slight issue around here. If that's the case. We can move you around, maybe just a wee bit. Make sure this area does not die. That's a very good area to hold. Don't lose a tile. Don't lose it. Wait, if this is October, it's very risky right here. If we could get killed off, that's not good. Um, horses. Is there any way we can make them any better yet? They're still twenty comp with. Not really. Yeah, they don't suffer any supply. Like, the game, the AI cheats so hard. They get free supply or something here. I don't understand it sometimes, man. I really don't. They go to war with us and they, they don't want to do anything against us. No, 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 no. You leave. You go right here. How do they move faster than us? Excuse me, game. But what type of... BS is this. I just want to make a stupid supply base. That's all I want. Good. Get some of that too. If you wanted to think about it. Military organization. So actually that's going to help us out quite a bit more. Experts in camouflage. Get more max entrenchment. To achieve maintain the elements of prize, we must make absolutely sure that the enemy does not spot our troops' positions or movements until it's too late. Every soldier must be trained in the art of camouflage, which will be super important for us because we're, we're just lacking guys right now. What a bunch of... The AI cheats so hard, man. I swear, they do cheat. Let them go in. Let them go... Literally, just let them go straight on in. Take that towel. We don't care. If we can get supply here, that's all that matters, and we can hold out for pretty much forever, probably. That's all that flipping matters. Because this war is going to be the big one in which either we win or lose this campaign. We will win in the end, but still. Oh my god, which, which tile is it? Is it this one? Force defense. Uh, if we lose you, whatever. I don't care. You need to make the supply po point. Like... <sighs> okay, more division. That's good. Throw them on the line. Back to anklet. War on them. Alrighty. That's in a white piece, huh? That means so nice. 
Spear of Influence. Oh my god, please. Please don't lose it. Maturian War of Independence. Oh, a little bit ahead of time. 1940. It's almost 41. Get more output. My god, do we need more output? Go, 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 go. Why are you leaving, son? They're not attacking the line either. Hmm. Actually, you have any upgrades yet? You're just level 1. That sucks. Still not attacking here too. Yeah, they're trying some D-Days over there. We're still losing. How? 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 A thousand times how? They don't even have air superiority over here. That's good. More max entrenchment. Uh, adaptable army? Hmm, depoliticize them. Yeah. The primary purpose of the military is to protect the working class, or soldiers are to a large extent already members of the working class, and therefore don't need someone to watch over them. Even more important is that the Red Army focuses on its primary mission, and is not allowed to play at all politics. Leave us alone! For the love of God, leave us alone here. I just want a flippin' supply base. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to make it. God dang it. That's so stupid. They just don't suffer enough attrition here. Like, it says they are, but they're not really. They're just... The AI cheats so hard in this game. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. It, it, it's ridiculous how badly they cheat. Go and take it. After all that, I mean, that's my god. So ridiculous. I was gonna make one all the way down here for no reason. Yeah, those German divisions are not any better than ours at this point. Not really. Can't force it. Oh! Are they gonna go to war with America? Hope so. And 41, let's get some more construction speed because my god, do we need more military factories? So, we got enough anti-air to throw on what, or who? Probably you guys, honestly. That's not going to be enough, but whatever. Anti-tank would be nice as well. Cavalry would be... I'd love getting uh, support on our guys, too, but... We need logistics. We definitely, 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 absolutely need logistics. Which is why I've not gone back to Grand Battle Plan. Which I think Grand Battle Plan? Not Grand Battle Plan. Grand Battle Plan does give us a reduction in supply consumption, but it's better... Why can't we do this one? Um, yeah. Oh, now you want to come back? But, like, Mass Assault does help us with supply consumption as well, so that's also true. I always use Gaz. I don't use someone else. Artillery but not, might not be too bad. Anti air? More artillery. Just more arty. Hmm. Let me close out of this one. Civilian labor defense. Active for 90 days. When removed, remove. When aborted. Hmm. Bell fortifications. I think we're okay. We don't really need fortifications. Oh, look at that. Let's make some more combos. That's okay. Ooh, we actually lost some stuff, though. That sucks. Do we have any planes around here? We yeah, have some fighters. Well, yeah, at least we got some fighters. Honestly, just send them all to here. We're going to need them, so. Mm, there you go, too. See what you can do. Anything here is level 2. Oh, he's level 2. That's nice, at least. Uh, another tank. It's not bad either. 11. I really doubt we could do anything here, but we could try it. It's a lot of divisions, though. Deep politicizing the military is very good, Red. System decentralization. Let's strengthen heavy uh, industry. The heavy industry is at the heart of our economy. If we want to ensure that the revolution not just survives, but thrives, we must further strengthen the sector. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes. Now it just costs a normal 100, and we get that one too. More organization and more defense at the same time. Oh, yes, please. Oh, for love of God, yes. Nice. Yeah, we couldn't take it. That's what I kind of figured, though. Um, yeah. Anything else? Cavalry specialist? That's not bad. Combined arms. I do like combined arms. Oh, thank God we got logistics. I do apologize for uh, not being super able to push. Then again, I mean, the Soviet military, it's... it's 
not very good right now, as you can tell. So can we actually... Yeah, we can, we can just combine on them now. Motorize, mechanize. We don't get that much XP, but we'll also, also take it for now. Why we can't take this guy? I don't understand why we can't. Um, cast. We're not going to use cast. Eight generation chest. I mean, that's okay. It's not great. Here, there's wins. Nice. Love to have him become a sea wolf, but whatever. Why'd you stop attacking, you pieces of garbage? Come on. Yeah, that's not enough attrition here. 18% is not enough. I want to do that. I want to build more infrastructure, but we just can't afford it. So we'll do that too. How many guns do we have? We're actually positive with guns, which is pretty nice. We need some more trucks, though. The goal is just literally to hold out for, for now. Alright. Oh. Greater Lithuania, huh? Well, I'm glad you have a lot of resistance here, you pieces of doo-doo. That is a chin. Wow. Oh, some manpower. Oh, that nice. Very good. This could be a lot worse. This is, this is all true, because I, I, this is going to be a World Conquest campaign. Uh, we'll move a lot faster later on, but we'll get there. Level 5, Preferred Tactic? Ooh, let's wait to see what we're going to do for Preferred Tactic. We'll wait for that first. Organizer, is he becoming an organizer? That'd be important to know. He is. Why don't they attack? You go to war with us, and yet you won't attack. Curious. Why would you attack there by yourself? Hmm. Could you win there by yourself? Probably not. Yeah, that guy's really bad. Yeah, they're still trying though. I'll give them. I'll give them props for that. They're still trying. And the Allies have gone to war with the Japanese. This is why I don't want to go to war with the Japanese. This is looking like some TNO stuff right now. What? They joined the Allies. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'd love to attack here, but... Actually, they push us out some more. My gosh. They take up so much attrition that they should just literally have nothing left. Uh, oh, that's actually really good to do. We're gonna, we have to go uh, total mobilization and get women in the workforce. Get those cute little booties in the workforce. There you go. Let's of this one. Um, Central do Central is global cost trouble. Adaptable army? Why not? The war is stretching across several climate zones and very, 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 very terrains. We must be able to find every terrain, no matter the weather, if we want to win this war. Which helps us with acclimatization and lower the penalties with that stuff over there. Which we still need to do stuff on that side as well. So that counts included. Uh, someone wishes that we, we could have, get Trotsky in power peacefully. Yeah. Someone says keep Master Soul, which obviously we can't right now because maybe in the next campaign, perhaps. I'm not opposed to that at all. Let's see. Uh, cooperate with Japan. And other people says don't cooperate with Japan. Uh, look at political actions, like decisions, civilian labor and defense. Or organize Esto Finnish fifth columnists. Workers and peasants sympathetic to the Bolshevik Party throughout the Estonia Finland League have made preparations for an armed uprising and are ready to strike when the enemy least expects it. Well, that's not bad. We need 20,000 guns. That's not bad. And Lithuanian fifth columnists as well. It's not too bad either. Um, let's see. Go uh, with individual security as well instead of cooperative security because that just makes more sense cool and do the empower the su supreme soviet focus i don't know we'll see what happens uh that focus that the person is referring to is down here now we can go region development versus strengthen the trade unions and which is the way that someone wants me to go and go with the supreme soviet which looks really awesome actually or we go with international union of soviet republics so we also have that too and soon get autonomous soviet republics which is the way actually i want to go for this campaign so i think we'll probably go that way just saying just because i want to see what it's like now, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should just annex everybody or get a lot, a lot of puppets. So, overall, there's a lot more support right now. Even though there's support for both sides. There's a lot more support for puppets and just puppeting everybody. But I don't want a lot of lag. So, I think, especially once we get down to here and we can release puppets. Uh, oh, so, we'll be, oh, two so, I think we'll probably just annex everybody first to appease everyone. And then we'll release every single puppet we possibly can. But, the Soviet Volunteer Group. But the war in China continuing. Uh, the Chinese Air Force has been stretched thin, trying to defend the airspace over the Chinese Empire and provide air support for the fighting troops in China. Liu Zhao has launched a personal appeal to develop Trotsky to send support and form a combined force of about 50 medium bombers and 100 fighters. This may prove a useful opportunity to test our most modern equipment under combat conditions. Support them in any way we can. Yeah, why not? I do want some war bonds too, so that'd be nice. Extraction 41. Um, L class would not be bad. Oh, engineers, yeah. 
They just don't want to attack. What's wrong with these guys? Well, that's probably on the, at least on their mind right now, but like, bro. Try something. They're still getting D-Day. Italy is coming back with a vengeance! Holy crap, how have they not died? How do we get military bodies to finally finish in 1941? But holy crap, how is Italy back alive? Aren't they fighting the Axis? They're fighting the Allies and the Axis, and they're still alive! What type of Italy are we playing with here? Are they like... I didn't even strength... I, didn't, I, I never strengthened enemies. I never strengthened anybody, period. I also was like playing as Germany maxed out, or whatever it was that one campaign I played one day. Uh, but like, I didn't... How? How? How are they still alive? Is Benito Mussolini the final boss for us? Oh my goodness. And you still are still alive here too. Improved artillery is not bad. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, you fought. Oh, actually, Zuka off. Nothing to do. He's level 5. That's pretty good though. They attack. That means we go in, right? So you fought. I'm not sure where to send you. I, I don't trust Iran. I really don't. I don't trust these guys down here either, but I don't trust a lot of people. Oh, we can organize the columnists. Lithuanian Polish with columnists. I don't want to see what that happens, though. Hmm. War bombs will be pretty nice, though. Mosier. They are suffering a lot of attrition, but it's not enough, in my opinion. Still not enough. Kill them all off, these pieces of garbage. Um, expand the Red Fleet? Probably not right now. Improve the railway network? Our first five-year plan proved to be too successful. The massive expansion of in heavy industry has left the USSR in a much stronger position to defend itself, but the Soviet railway network has some, hit some critical bottlenecks. The people's come and started railways as an ambitious plan to close these bottlenecks and ensure that we can defend the motherland. Probably a good idea. Can we actually push in? Probably, honestly, not. If we could take the port here, that'd be so good. We're doing really well, just sinking convoys left and right. I love it. He's good at positioning, but um, I prefer other stuff first. What about over here? Theater training. Um, terrain traits. You know what? That's something I would like to see. Even though, honestly, supply consumption is probably the most, most important thing right now. This is not bad either. Yeah, special forces, but... Weekly manpower? That's kind of broken. A circumvent penalty? Uh, proper heritage? That's not bad either. Quick improvisation is not bad either. Engineering, professional arm officer corps. We get more army XP, more daily command power, land doctrine costs. I want to choose this one, but hmm, logistical focus, supply consumption. Entrenchment would be nice, but they're not really pushing us, so we'll probably go logistics just because we're going to go literally around the entire world, and it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to do everything here. So, uh, planes. There you go. War bonds would be so nice. Staggered retreat. We have another carrier as well. Are we missing anything here? This has a bit of rubber. Oh, do that. There you go. That's fine enough. Uh, more millies. And maybe we can make some rubber for ourselves as well. It's not bad. There you go. Uh, you guys are down there. Yeah, we're stacking that group up pretty darn well. I'm just worried that... Lithuanian Poland. Did you seriously release him as a puppet? Oh my goodness. That is special. That is special to say the least. Ooh, not bad. Did we push in? Our guys are pushing in. Okay, so let's not go too insane here. Yeah, go home. There you go. You need a lot of stuff there. That's fine. Whatever. Don't care. Another tank, which honestly is not very good, which we still need to focus on a little bit too. Um, are they looking? Are they thinking of their line? Hold on. Look, look how weak it is. It's like threes and fives. We might be able to push in. Hold on. Let's save the game just in case and push the German daddies back into the rat hole that they came out of. Now, our guys obviously aren't super great. But, if it can take a little bit of land here and there, I would not be opposed. That's okay. We need to definitely work on some planes. So, we'll try it. Why not? 
We've already lost 300 some thousand of people. Honestly, we might want to get that one that gives us more weekly manpower. Yeah, they're doing some force defense stuff here, some trickery. How are we not getting more army XP than this? Man, we are losing hard here. Is this glitch? This must be glitch or something. It's because we can't see it at all. Oh. Empty air. Get some of that mechanized too. Eventually, we're going to have a lot of factories here. Eventually. Ooh, I don't want to stop. Break, break, break. Boom, over. We just lost another 100,000 people. Without doing any casualties at all. Yes, this doesn't feel very balanced at all. Hmm. Especially, I mean, look how weak they are. One division. Still can't beat them. Hmm. Addressing internal affairs. While the revolution still has many enemies around the world and many millions of workers still long to be liberated, we must not forget to turn our eyes towards the many issues awaiting us at home. Which we're going to be experimenting, attacking, and defending all during this entire time, so I'm going to be doing a couple more focuses off screens, including a policy of internal security. We have few friends in the world and a lot of enemies. We should not be overly concerned with who we make deals with. Either they or us will break those deals anyways once they've served their purpose. Um, two red flags, you can do that one, but we'll do that one later. Uh, what's up down here? Uh, system decentralization, we're not going to do that one in global struggle. Let's wait. Lessons of war. While whatever plans we have before the war have largely not survived contact with the enemy, we must be open to the lessons of war this the war is teaching us, and not stick to outdated dogma. Well, then can we stop ourselves or stop a retreat and go back on the offensive? Penal battalions. During their retreats, many otherwise capable soldiers have shamed themselves by retreating before the position was lost, or by otherwise acting against the good conduct of our army. But in this situation, we're simply imprisoning or executing them would deprive us of the very capable fighters. We should form a special units in which these people can redeem themselves through combat. Not a bad idea. So here, anyways, throw them on. Uh, oh, you do have uh, some stuff on here. Artillery, that's not bad, actually. You guys finally go and get some logistics as well. And the horse boys. Oopsie, there you go. Get them too. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get we'll get more stuff. Thank you. Nice. And get some planes. We still need more planes. Cast naval bombers. Yes, please. Cool. And what else we're we gonna read after that one? Lessons of war. Peanut battalions, of course. Uh, a smurf would be actually very nice to grab. Uh, propaganda campaigns. Um, before we do that one, let's go. We're gonna do expand the agro pop. To reach the millions of workers throughout our union, we must speak their language. We must make our arguments simple and easily understandable so that they remain in the memory of the common citizen. We should further expand our efforts in this area. The new Soviet woman? Not bad. NKVD primacy? Yes. Until we can be sure that all enemies of the state are accounted for, we must continue to rely on the NKVD to protect the revolution, and then smirch. We must make it clear to every single citizen that spies and enemy agents are at present everywhere, and that any idle talk can give the enemy a crucial, role of piece of, a crucial piece of information that gives them advantage. But, if you enjoyed the video, please, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and let me know. Should we use the NKVD as the actual intelligence agency name? I think it's been too soon since we've had the NKVD, but, thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.